Welcome to Wallington on the anti unes protest. And this is Tuesday, just after that absolute fast of been tooting. Then air quality check. It's about 4.1 at the moment, was about zeros further down the road. So nothing wrong with that at all. There we are. Got a few people over here. A little nervous, so there we go. Stop the cars, get Susan Hall in. Get card out, it's certainly the most about 2nd of May. It's about three weeks' time, and he's definitely a liar. There we are. There's some minor police presence there. And we go further around. Get card out. And there we go, we've got a car to bus there. Just over there. That's where we are. Oh, it's just there. Middle of Wallington, so go around a bit. Into the front of it now. There's John there with the hall. And there we are. Thumbs it up. Kingsley's party bus. Stop you, Les. Vote Susan Hall. And yeah, that's what we've got so far here at Wallington. Looks like a few more has turned up now. We've got a party bus there. Uh, just go along a little bit. There's John there with his horn. I just see a few people on the other side of the road. Nice small gathering. You go further down here, the rocky bay side of the bus. We've got a few people down here. The Union Jack waving hot, very up high. Here's that side of the road, and we've got a few people over there. There we go. So it's there. And some bit of another plate that says get card out. And certainly get card out and get some all in. And just to remind what country we're in, we're actually in England, believe it or not. And we certainly need to get card out and get that lady as our best chance of any hope whatsoever. And that's what we've got here at the moment, here in the middle of Wallington. Looks like we've got a few more people turned up here now. It's all shouting in the background. Let's go further down, we've got a couple of leafy warriors just there. And there's Sue. And we've got Stop You This just there. And time to tell gets car on. Time to get rid of him. And certainly stop the Unes. And we'll go further down. And stop the touch of fair lie. There he is. And yes, agree with that. I can't repeat it. London's calling to get card out. And definitely get card out. Oh, we've got a bus supporting us as well. There we go. Even bus drivers hate card. We've got 2nd of May to vote card out. We've got more people on the other side of the road. The 2nd of May get card out. We've got the English flag waving, fl flying high. We've got more people over there. It looks like I think Unisex may be gathering, I'm not sure. We certainly agree with that placard just there. And what did I just see? I think I just saw, if I can get to it, Unisaurus. There we go. A Unisaurus against you, Les. There we go. Orange Dino against you, Les. And there's Tura as well. I'm following the Orange Dino, see where the Orange Dino's going. Oops, tipped over something. Uh, go underneath, and there we are. Orange Dino coming up the side in front of the party bus, I think. There we go. Orange Dino hates you, Les. And there we go. Right against the party bus. He loves the party bus, doesn't he? Orange Dino loves the party bus, but absolutely hates you, Les. Right here in the middle of Wallington. And Years I was having a way at the time next to the party bus. And on the bus, we also need to stop you, Les, and save England. And there we are. We've got Unisaurus and the party bus here in the middle of Wallington. The post has now got underway, we just had hall support. So just along here on the side of the road, here in the middle of Wallington. Got a few people here, a few more turned up just now. And the more in the background, there we go. There's trucking support of us, more horse in the background. More videos. 
They seem to love the King's East Beach. Go further down. And there we are. Got the party bus just there. And he's in there to hold his support. That was Kingsley just illustrating a lie about Senate card as he's lied and lied again. There we go, there's a truck that says go to you now. I see you on the other side of the road. We've got more people down here and we go further around. Uh, there we go, we've got more, more people down here. Down. Not here, certainly unity, not that. No to you, Les. Go further along here as well. There we go. Small gathering of people just there. And we're going to stop you, Les, stop the water motorists. No to you, Les. And there we go. There's a banner here that says 2nd of May, boat for Susan Hall. Susan Hall or nothing for Mayor. And Go around a little bit. Got four people down here. No TLCS, no 20 miles per hour. And it says on here, the car has to end. The car now to pull in. Right on the 2nd of May, to definitely reclaim our city. We'll go further down. And there we are. Right here, in the middle of Wallington. And the rain does not push us off. There's a whole load of people on the other side, both sides of the road. With the party pass. Here at Wallington. Well, it looks like our Unisaurus who likes the party pass. Showing support for us. And the motorists have support us with these. There you go. Nice little support just there. Got Sutton camera blocker banners on the side. And a few of us on the other side of the road. We certainly want to stop you, Les. And a few of us along here as well. The Union Jack. Middle of rainy Wallington. But the rain does not put us off. So, there we go. A few of us down here. All the way along there. The flag of St George flying high here in the middle of Wallington. Looks like Howard Cox now turned up to support us. He is a true truth to the cause, as what he recently thought, but he does have our support here in the middle of Wallington. Just got yeah, some of the right, power cuts going just there as a brilliant true trick is the cause. So, nice to be absolutely brilliant. Howard, nice to see you. How are you doing? Just outside the fourth, that's worse, so I might get a body cam. Hello, my name's Howard Cox. I'm standing for London Mayor, and I'm not going anywhere, I'm still going all the way. Oh, that one. You know. Okay. Now can you hear me? Anyway, I just want to say one thing. I've actually issued a statement today. I've spoken to James uh, Cleverness, uh, the Home Secretary, to demand who instructed last weekend. I noticed there's uh, no police here today. Funny that. I don't think Sally Carr lives here. Okay, yeah, but they're all, all pretty okay with us. The police are okay with us. But anyway, I've insisted on um, a, a, the explanation that James Cleverly uh, has, has come back or his department's come back and said they will get back to me. I've also written to Sir Mark Rowley to demand who instructed that action last week, that disgusting action of the ULES 5. I support ULES 5 totally. 
100%. So uh, watch this space, I'll get back to you on this uh, as soon as possible. The important thing here at the moment is, I am standing from here, I'm going all the way, I'm sorry if some of you don't think I can win, but I'm going to bloody well win. Get Cox in! <laughs> and that was Howard Cox. Uh, just a point to clarify that when these guys were arrested, we were already packing up and uh, complying with the request to, um, we were already packing up and complying with the request to dismantle and pack up, so there was absolutely no reason for these arrests at all, but uh, totally unjustified, so yeah. Watch this space there, Howard Cox, we'll, uh, we'll, 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 we'll have to move on you soon. Let's get Howard Cox to Jim, please. And there we go. Brilliant people together. <laughs> Nick just there. Uh, Howard just there. Uh, sorry, some fourth foot there. That's how it thinks. Here in the middle of Wallington. But nevertheless, when I did arrive, it surprised me there was none of you there. Next thing I noticed, believe it or not, the police were celebrating. They were punching the air, big smiles, and I think there was even a, a jump as well. Also, I saw thumbs up into a window as well, so there's probably a video of them too, at least. So this was, you know, this got me worried then. The last time I had, as we say, incidents with the police, um, I got a few of them arrested, to say the least. Anyway, so it's only because of what I used to do. I used to work in London and I got to know the Assistant Commissioner of Police. And it's through his knowledge that I actually learned a lot of things. What to do and where to say things and what have you. And so when I've actually looked at all of these videos and what have you, I can see all the, all the illegal actions the police officers were doing. It wasn't the people that were out there doing a peaceful protest in a public place, which is their legal right. It was the police. They were doing all of the things wrong. Like, the women were arresting the men, and the men were arresting the women. And not only that, they gave a woman or something a few seconds to, to get up off the street and out of her blow-up costume uh, uh, before they arrested her. Apparently, I thought that uh, she had the um, tie-up shoes, the tie-up shoes, which I actually mentioned online, but they were actually zipper. But speaking to a member of, 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 of the uh, demonstration, she's got a knee clamp, a knee brace. So therefore, she had to have time. So Therefore, there's the medical issue that come into play. There is no medical staff there at all, with all those hundreds of police there. And of course, we want to uh, talk 20-year-olds. We're all people that have got some concerns about living in this country now. And so therefore, you know, we've, we've got medical issues because we're a little bit late to night, considering we've got a bit of more common sense. So therefore, where are the, where are the uh, medical emergency services, you know, in case someone has a, like a heart attack or a stroke or something, considering that they're all going to be put under stress because, believe it or not, they're all being intimidated by a service which is paid for out of taxpayers' money. This is so wrong. I'm going to look at all of this, I'm going to have a look, and then I'm actually going to say it online. And I'm going to do exactly what the Commissioner of Police told me to do, do considering I did send a few of them to jail, and that was to make a note of everything I could see that was wrong and write it down. I did that online so as to make sure that it all gets brought up. Then what I did was I actually contacted the uh, particular uh, official uh, uh, place that actually when you put in the complaints about the police conduct. So now there is an official complaint and investigation on all the police behaviour on that day on the Saturday the 6th of April. So therefore, I did my very best to do everything. So obviously, if you read my bits, then obviously this is quite long, considering there was an awful lot of the police stuff wrong. Who was doing wrong? Was it the, the protesters on the peaceful protest? No, they did everything correct. Who done wrong? The police. And not only that, I did notice the name of the uh, commander, which I did expect him to be a commander. That's how my knowledge goes. And of course, the name is Wing Road. And so, therefore, 
we're going to make sure that he gets invested again, considering all the bad uh, uh, um, way that they actually did their, their, their uh, police rules in that particular day. So now we do need this man to be brought up to actually justify his actions for that day. I mean, Considering that there was no one there for, for any health issues, considering the people got put on their various stages. Also, the fact is we've got people with 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 the cameras. Do you want to see what have you? And of course they've been intimidated, so therefore we're talking about strikes and things like that. In the goal, all they're doing is they're standing around putting more and more people under stress and stress kills. This is wrong action by the police. It's such a shame that I didn't actually get there on time, but nevertheless, this is now official and they're probably going to come and interview as many people. So you keep an eye on everything, make sure you have a look at your videos, keep your videos of that day. This is going to go, as, as our possible new mayor says, Mr. Cox, going right to the top. So let's make sure that the police never forget this day and make sure that they take notes of the future demonstrations and they do it correctly and with people that have got true knowledge of how to police. Right, so that's my saying today anyway, it's my very first saying. So hopefully, you know, we can get Khan out as well. So thank you very much for listening. Cheers, thank you. Well done guys and girls, I keep doing what you did guys and girls, just got to make you cut the phone calls, got people messaging me from their prices. And that's John to tell us, you agree what he says, we've got you and us in support there, but so and forth up just there. I don't know where Harold went, I can't, I was over there, I'll say hello in a minute. There's a few people over here, it's heard everything so accurately what was said. So, especially the disgusting actions on Saturday by the Met Police, I suspect probably territorial support group. I think it's either them or the public or the unit, whichever one it is, it's absolutely dreadful. But it has not put us off coming here, but it's solidarity, as we have all sports we go. And solidarity against what has happened, against Senate Card, and we need to get him out on 2nd of May. Just notice the infamous the failed London, London placard says all the things I agree with. We just got Yuri Zoyce just there, a couple of people I know. And a few people over there, out in the background somewhere. Two guys, Iconic Warriors together. There's King C, there's Nick. And down the background, going on down here. And in the background, I'm going to stop you, Les, and Dino. And a nice infamous face mask. Stop the UNES scan. So, go further down. It says get card out. And what I also saw in the background, it's just not long turned up. I couldn't film him. The speeches are taking place. Uh, get down this truck quickly. We have in the background. Can I get to it? There we go. Oh, that's no home support just there. Uh, there we go, those no home support. And the pink taxi. The infamous pink taxi has turned up to support us. Joe's pink cab. And there we are. All the supporters will keep going down the road. And uh, here we are, both sides of that pedestrian crossing, here in the middle of Wallington. Yeah, just a couple of quick things. First, first of all, I just wanted to wrap up on a few things on murder. Firstly, it's funny, isn't it, that back in 2019, Khan was saying, oh yeah, you know, people should be allowed to demonstrate, it's a great thing, it's part of our democracy that people can do that, it's wonderful. And yet, all of a sudden, when people want to demonstrate, not at his house, but in the vicinity, all of a sudden, he says, that's not a tick, that's no good, because all of a sudden, out of nowhere, 200 police officers turn up. 200. And obviously, they're in obviously the police officers' intelligence wasn't very good, the fact that they used 200 police officers when there was only about 100 protesters. It says to me that the police just don't know what they're doing on this particular occasion. 
But the one I really wanted to talk about, because I haven't talked about this in a while, is what I call tactical voting. And, you know, you hear this, this phrase a lot. But the truth is that every time anybody votes, it is tactical. <laughs> Whether you vote mainstream or you vote someone else, it is tactical. You are making a tactical decision about who you vote for. And therefore, in this occasion, people, if they're going to make a decision, and I say this to, to Liberals and Greens and Reform and anyone else, you are voting for those parties because you do not want Khan to get in. Simple as that. And if you don't want Khan to get in, then there's only one real choice that you have. You vote for Susan Hall to get Khan out. And if you really want to, and you want to get your representation, you then apply that vote on the top-up list, the GLA. That's where your vote will count. In the mayoral election, any other vote, other than Conservative or Labour, will not count. Simple as that. You, you might think it will, you might think you'd be holding a protest, but it'll make no difference whatsoever to the final outcome, unless it is one of those two, 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 two uh, parties, Labour or Conservative. It's a sad fact of life, but that's the way it is. And so I'm encouraging people to, whatever you vote, if you're not voting for Khan, vote for Susan Hall first. And then, and then ideally, vote for your party of choice on the top up list. Because that way, you will ensure that Khan gets out and you will have more say of what happens by the London of December. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you for that. And if you're lucky enough to live in St Helier West, you can vote for Kingsley Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> no, no, but I did. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Kingsley it's Hamilton. Like... <laughs> You'd never know that. He's very shy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, thank you for that, Phil. Uh, thank you, Simon. Yeah. Cheers. It was absolutely brilliant. Simon Forth, right? Thank you. About last Saturday, really. Actually, it's Oh, <laughs> you are.
Just that truck, just there. So, as a fantastic tool for the users. So I think we might have another song coming up from the users. <laughs> by the year desserts. It's supposed to get a Senate card, and especially those dreadful elections we witnessed on Saturday at 2 2. Fantastic tours by the UZ. That's the Unis, the Unis, the Uni Jack proudly flying high. Here in the middle of windy Wallington, where the rain, wind and the rain does not push us off. Well, it's 
say is actually who I need to vote for on the 2nd of May. The rest is here at Wellington. And hall support going on here. A few people down there. And a few of us in the background. There's Howard Cox. And Simon's over the other side, I think. Right here in the middle of Wellington. And that's a fantastic song from the Unisets. There we are, and that is who we need to get in on the 2nd of May, that's who we need to get in. And back to Unizet. There we go. Yes. Some voting advice from the Unisets. Here in the middle of Windy Wallington, a few of us here, clearly Dino just missed the out camera shot. But there's a few of us. Along here, oh, there's the Unisaurus crossing the road. Comes to join us. That's exactly the disgusting actions that happened on Saturday by the Met Police. I suspect we are strong it. here. We're not going to stop. We weren't the police. We're not going to stop from this year. Yeah. Stars, eh? Yeah. Not police that I remember. We shall never surrender. Never. Never. Oh, it's never. To the people. It's never <laughs> surrender to Carl. <laughs> there we are. It's only about disgraceful actions from the Met Police TSG, I suspect, or public order, whichever one of the two it was. That's a disgraceful actions with a knuckle straight. Yeah, there we go, whole support. They absolutely hate you, there's. And there's Simon. There he is. And long here. There we go. There we are. Even better, right here in the middle of Wendy Wallington. We now got Unizets together and on the Kingsley, the Coffee and Democracy.
Well, the Unisets would just say... There you go, as Unisets and Kingsley spreading the message what we must do. Register the votes by the 16th of April to get card out on the 2nd of May. Fantastic performance by the Unizets and all the advice given what needs to do to the vote and who to vote for on the 2nd of May here in the middle of Wendy Wallington. Oh, 
Oh, that's what we need to do, 2nd of May. Okay, okay. Fantastic performance by the Unisets. Certainly, you get rid of the Stossett card. It's Thanks for you. My fellow Unisets and Mackie's yeah. team. Round of applause. Absolutely brilliant thoughts by the Unisets. And there's Simon. Hey, cheers for the Unisets. Hip, hip. Oh, we are on the Facebook, the Unisense and the Unisense Facebook. If you want to get on there. Oh, it's absolutely brilliant. Spreading the message. They stop the carnage and certainly get rid of card. And seek no Unisense, no paper mile. There you go. It says everything we need to know, really. Get rid of you, Les. Hopefully, it'll be gone. It'll be gone by part of next month. So, go across here a little bit. That's there, that's Howard. There we go, more horn supports we go. So let's go around a bit. She's going to come you, Les, scab. And that's who we are. Let's get this Unis extension. No you, Les, no paper, mile. And all the nonsense that goes with it. So, there we go. Better than Lindy Wallington. There we go, more more to go along. And there we are. Kingsley Castle bus just there. And there's the coffin of democracy. It was so badly what back. And said it because consultation has died and said it can't ignored it. So, there we go, party bus. One of us around here. Nice collection of people just here. Viewers over there, and a Union Jack waving flying high. And, despite what Senate card tries to do to us, we are united. And we need to get a card out. There we go. And as another three to five warrior is along the road, with no you, Les, no paper mile, and Khan is certainly a liar. And we are united against Khan. And Senate Khan is certainly a liar and a thief and a cheat, so we need to get him out. So, there we go. We need to defend London and defend England. This is referring... I'd just like to say that all the protests that we've been to throughout the past 18 months, the police have been very helpful. This was a one-off incident. This is referring to the famous five who were unlawfully arrested by police. They were released from police. This refers to the five who were unlawfully arrested without police charge. 
They were held at Charing Cross Police Station. We stayed there until they were released without charge. Yeah, it's not difficult hearing what you've heard from the lorry drivers and other vehicles. And we've got support from little Dino as All well. These And we now have a look at see what's on the other side of the road. Looks like an interview is going to happen, so I might walk over there and see what's over there. And there's Pink Cab. It says get card out. There we go. There's Pink Cab spreading the message here in Wallington. We simply want to stop you, Les. And we have a warrior saying who to vote for along the side of that bus. We certainly stopped the toxic airline, and you know this is just nothing but a scam. As protest continues here, middle of Wallington. The protest continues here at Wallington. A few is vlog here, spreading the message. And there we go. The coffee and democracy. Along the flag of St George. Union Jack flying high. And we certainly need to get Khan out and vote him out on 2nd of May. Another lovely vehicle we've just got here. Just to highlight the total hypocrisy of you, Les. We've got what I think is a nice two-stroke moped. There we go. Blue, best you like. Yeah, exactly. Because it's exempt. It's like two of my vehicles are. <laughs> oh, there we go. A nice old Vespa, two-stroke Vespa. Historic and two stroke, love it. There we go. What a lovely Vespa that is. One way is sticking two fingers at card to ride a nice historic Vespa here in the middle of Windy Wallington. Well, it looks like we're coming towards the end of the demo now. It's been a pretty good, peaceful demo. No police heavy handedness at all. They actually were local coppers, so. They're pretty good to us. Some of us still here and going on further down here, got such a block of banners there. And we go along down the side. And there we go. Some of us are still here. At pretty much the very end of the demo. It's actually been pretty good. Nice and peaceful. And there we are. Here, middle of Wallington. So I hope you enjoyed the video and Hopefully, you're looking forward to seeing the next one.